The Super Bowl halftime show is one of the most important concerts of the year, but it wasn't always that way. In 1992, when the show In Living Color decided to broadcast one of their new episodes right when the halftime show started, 20 million people tuned in and that seriously threatened the NFL's viewership. Before then, the NFL only cared enough to get acts like the Grambling State University. I was really watching them up that. But ever since they got their hands on a Michael Jackson performance in 1993, it's been as big of a stage for the artists and centers as it is for the athletes that are there to compete on the highest level. Are they saying Michael Jackson birthed the halftime show? Is that what I'm hearing? That boy Michael Jackson stood out there, ain't even, ain't even moved with people over here screaming for like a whole minute. Rihanna came out and said that you are the greatest quarterback ever. Uh, whatever Rihanna says is like, like the gospel. So I'm glad that she, she went with me for that, for that honor. She didn't. She didn't. I was just messing. Oh, wow, that is a hater. You got, you got me up here smiling and smirking. <laughs> the halftime show is a highly anticipated showcase of the biggest names in music, but beyond just entertainment. The halftime show has also been used as a platform to make political and social statements. In the past few years, the halftime show has been a reflection of the issues the that they're dealing on. with. Yeah, those L mans of the millions that are tuned in. Hell. The weekend, whose music I've gotten very in depth into on this channel, delivered a show in 2021 that reflected yeah, remember the isolation that one? and loneliness of life during COVID, performing hits off of his album After Hours, an album that centered around the loneliness and isolation of the celebrity lifestyle in a massive city of lights but still surrounded by these signs that said things like alone and enough. Last year's show was an optimistic, nostalgic performance reflecting on opening up on the isolation, bringing back classics from the early 2000s with sets including houses that people were moving freely in between, partying with Kendrick large crowds crazy. and reminding us of that golden era of rap. I wish, While Kendrick Lamar, yo, I wish he dropped this album back then, detail, but like, I'm still mad that he dropped I mean, I'm still happy that, that he dropped it though. So. A lot more freedom. Because imagine him, Rihanna's like, he, he could have done all of reminded me more of his in, performance in you know. Rostenberry last summer and his Grammys performance after the release of Damn, specifically in the relatively minimal staging and the color scheme. This is one of the few halftime shows in recent memory. Where it's all fun and games until he starts singing Auntie guests. Diaries in the middle just of that. Full on focus on Rihanna <laughs> in this all red fit. And while her reps have confirmed that she's pregnant with her second child, her and Rocky's personal life isn't the type of thing we really get into on this channel. But the staging of the show itself is something worth looking into. It's interesting that the last couple of shows felt like reflections on the state of the world during struggles with the pandemic and its aftermath, and that in this show, Rihanna Spenta elevated in a diamond formation over dancers seemingly dressed in these white quarantine-like hazmat suits. I wouldn't be surprised if she was hearkening back to that feeling of isolation because it's been since before all of that went down that she's even performed. But I want to make this connection back to these Kendrick Lamar shows because it's really interesting to me that in her show, she's in red while the surrounding dancers are in white, and while Kendrick is in white while the dancers are in red. For Kendrick, that what? dynamic yeah, that's what I the heard. savior status that he was given was like, by what? music fans Hold that he was mark. challenging on the latest album. He was seen as pure while everyone surrounding him was marked by sin until he admitted his wrongdoings and got stained by the red himself. This is a reflection of his concept of being a good kid in a mad city. While Rihanna both announced her pregnancy and promoted Fenty Beauty in the same performance, we can also look to the staging as a deeper message. Her in this world of perfection and purity. Yo, y'all see that people were over here talking about... Oh, she's, she's, a. Uh, it was like, I literally saw it on Twitter this morning when I woke up. I freaking clicked on it. It was a like Christian Super Bowl. I was like, what are they talking about? They're over here saying, was it, what was it, like a pentagram or something like that? They're like, oh, she's wearing blah, blah, blah. Bro, it's a safety hard and sin, or it might be like a, you know, baby thing. And at the same time, it's six sides. People be reaching Pretty, sometimes. Especially in the cosmetic and fashion industry, surrounded by the clean, sterile figures, while she's marked by the red of imperfection. And maybe her return to music has been so long delayed because of that fear of standing out or not having enough to say. It's a similar type of block for music that ASAP Rocky has admitted to, claiming in a recent interview that it's more difficult for him to produce music because he doesn't have that same inspiration from his hungry New York roots now having a comfortable lifestyle with Rihanna. My take on this performance is that maybe she feels the same way and that her hearkening back to her roots through the classic songs that made us all fall in love in the first place is a need oh, to return nah. the form at a time <laughs> they, they're never, yo, Cardi is never. And the isolation. Let me know what you thought the of the The NFL will go out there and send Ray Lewis watch. to go freaking hit stick that fool off of that platform. Three saying Rihanna's beating Beyonce in a versus. The hell? Yo, you see how, you see how they were wilding over here? Oh, it's lip sync and all that, bro. That'll be, oh, 85% of it's lip sync. 
Okay, fool. We we, we cooking, you know? Let us let us enjoy this. 